Hello guys, welcome back to A Simple Life with Dumi. My name is Dumi Anson and I'm so happy to have you on my channel. So today we are going to do the battle of the prizes between pick and pay and checkers to see who between those two shops is actually the cheapest. I know you probably have your preferences already, I have mine, but I want to you to, I want you to have your preferences actually backed by facts not just because of what you've heard or what your teal sleep once said to you so let's get right into the video <music> disclaimer to my video the prices that i'll be quoting in this video i have rounded off to the next 50 cent or the next rent so for example if the price is like three rent and 49 cents i will round it off to three rent and 50 cents if the price is like 14 rands and 99 cents I will round it off to 15 rands just so that it's easy for us to tell it up at the end at the end and also just for us to really get the right price thing is this grocery shops they do this thing of putting a nine at the end of a price or making it a 90 or a 99 just to play with your mind I mean when something is like 14 rands and 99 when you see it there on the aisle you're thinking oh it's around 14 rands when in fact it is actually 15 rands so that's something that you need to keep in mind when you do your grocery shopping always round off your prices in your head it will really help you to go a long way and prepare you for the moment of truth when you get to the till so now let's get into our items our items i've selected items that make up the basic grocery basket for a south african and you will see when i go through them that these are things that we all use in our families on a day-to-day -day basis if you are an average south african who is not vegan who eats meat you probably have these items in your cupboards and i've selected 10 of them which is a very small sample compared to the number of items that are already found in a shop but i'm just using this sample to see and to show to us who is actually the cheapest so let's get right into it in the meantime while i'm going through this items i want you to comment down below and tell me whether you are team pig and pig or team checkers i will tell you which team i am at the end of this video i hope you enjoy the rest of the video so the first item that we are looking at is actually 2kg bright pack goldie pig and pay sells it for 82 rents and checkers sells it for 79 rands. As we can see in this case, checkers is the lowest. Our second item will be milk, um, one liter in a carton for their house brand. So this will be the pick and pay brand or the checkers brand. So for pick and pay, they sell it for 13 rands and 50 cents. Checkers sells it for 13 rands and 50 cents. So in this case, both shops sell milk for the same price. This is milk one liter house brand. Our next item is sugar silati 2 kg. At pig and pear you can buy this for 41 rands and at checkers you can also buy this for 41 rands. So I see a trend here. Perhaps maybe these two shops actually sell their prices I mean, sell their items for the same price. Let's just continue getting into our shopping basket. Then fourth item will be your testic rice 2kg. Pig and Pay sells it for 36 rands and Checkers sells it for 35 rands and 30 cents. So Checkers is taking this one again. And then our fifth item is Oro's 2 liters. Checkers, I mean, pig and pay sells it for 42 rands and checkers sells it for 42 rands. So that's another tie. Our sixth item is sunlight washing powder, 2 kg hand wash. Pig and pay sells it for 50 rands and checkers sells it for 50 rands. That's another tie. 
let's get to our next item brown bread albani ping and pay sells it for 15 rands and checkers sells it for 13.50 according to the trend here it looks like checkers is actually cheaper than ping and pay but you know what we're still on the seventh item let's not be too quick to conclude our next item will be Iwisa maize meal 2.5 kg Ping and Pay sells it for 28 rand 50 and Checkers sells it for 28 rand 50. Okay guys, it looks like Checkers is winning because I mean this is another tie. And then our ninth item is Pilchard's um, Lucky Star Tailfish, 400 grams. Ping and Pay sells it for 23 rands and Checkers sells it for 23 rands. Guys, I'm sure for now you've realized that a lot of items actually cost the same between those two shops. So far, Checkers is taking it because um, they do have a few cheaper items than Pig and Pay. Let's see with our last item. Here we've got eggs by a brand called Egg Belt large and they're 30 in a packet. Pig and Pay sells it for 50, 53 rand. And Checkers sells them for 65 rings. So there, we were coming well with Checkers. And then boom, we get to the item called eggs. And Checkers is actually way more expensive. Almost 10 rings more expensive than pick and pay. Is it safe to conclude that Checkers is more expensive than pick and pay based on this one item of eggs, which is 10 rings, almost 10 rings more than pick and pay, or based on the other three items where Checkers was actually cheaper than pick and pay? Can we then say it's cheaper? I don't know guys I don't know let me just tell you up the scores and tell you how much the basket cost at pig and pay and how much it costs at checkers and you go home and make your own choice as I promised I will tell you who is my preference at the end our basket at pig and pay tell it up to 384 rings our basket at checkers became 391 rands. Checkers was coming along, as I told you, it was coming along well until we got to the end. I would personally go to checkers. I mean, they've got a lot more um, cheaper items than pick and pay and get my other items there and then go to pick and pay for the eggs and save myself 10 rands. That is if it's in the same mall or the shops are like close to one another. Otherwise, guys, I don't think it's really worth the hassle worth of the petrol i'm sure the petrol to pick and pay to check us will be more than 10 rands so it won't really be worth you driving all the way just to save that 10 rands on eggs so what is my personal preference to be honest guys i have learned throughout my journey of grocery shopping especially ever since i became a wife and a, and a mother that you know what the shops literally you just have to go you just have to decide on a shop and go and buy they have different specials at different times so you can never really know who is cheaper and with all that being said guys i don't think i really helped you but now you know checkers is probably cheaper just eggs are more expensive remember to subscribe to like to comment and you know what let's meet again next time doing more grocery games